Hello, YouTube. It's your boy, Blue. I'm here with none other than Josito Lopez. What's going on with you? What's up, man? Uh, just a uh, countdown, just waiting. Now, now you got a, a, a fight that a lot of people feel like this could be fight of the night. You know, uh, you guys could steal the show, you and John Molina, man. What's your thoughts about that? I feel the same way. I'm expecting it. Uh, you know, we prepared for, for the toughest fight, and uh, we're ready for it. Uh, you know, with our styles, it's... Uh, it's an all-action fight and a fight that you can't miss as a boxing fan. Now, now, as of late, your name been buzzing, man, after that Keith Thurman fight, man. You know, um, sometimes a, a loss is not always a loss. It's a, a win and a loss. You know, um, how has life been different since that Keith Thurman fight? You know, well, you know, my, my recognition did step up uh, just on the streets. But, you know, I got to remind people, I, I'm here to win also. You know, I'm, I'm not just an exciting. I want. I don't just want to be in exciting fights. I want to win, and I want to win the world title. And, you know, I came up a little short, but you know, at least uh, you know I'm excited that that it was a it was an action fight and, and one day you can remember. And uh, the 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 crazy part about it is that you know it's not your first time you was in a big fight. You was in plenty of big fights leading up to that. You know, so it wasn't your first time. What 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 made you think that um it was so you know it it was overblown? Was it Keith Thurman's name? You know, what what you think what that did it? No, it's it's a big stage. Uh, you know, I've been there before, and uh, I, you know, I plan to be there again. Um, you know, it's a world title fight against one of the one of the top welterweights, and and it's that big. Um, you know, boxing knows that I come to fight, fight, and uh, you know, everyone's at risk, no matter no matter who. Everyone's at risk when I when I'm in the ring. Right. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many losses I have on my record. You know, um, everyone's at risk, and boxing knows that. Is it now, since that fight, has it been more difficult to get fights? You know, seeing uh, your last performance and, you know, now you train with um, Robert Garcia. You know, a, a lot of guys, you know, their career changed when they when they get with Robert Garcia. We saw Marcos Madonna, you know, um, rejuvenate his career, you know, um, when he got with Robert. Now the same could be said for Josito Lopez. Is it difficult to get these big name guys now to get Jeez. in the ring? Well, yeah, it, it was a little difficult to, to get top marquee names, but uh, you know, I just want to fight, man. I'm a fighter, and, and I want exciting fights, whether it be another world title shot or a, a fight that you can remember. And, uh, you know, TGB and, and, and Nah Heyman did a good job um, matching us up. You know, this is one of those fights you can't miss. Now, should you win this fight, you know, um, have... Have you heard anything as far as you being able to get a shot at one of the titles? You want a, a, a card where, you know, there's a big fight headline in the card. Uh, obviously, Errol Spence, Sean Porter. You know, um, what would be next for you should you win this fight and, and your chances of getting a, a title shot? I haven't heard anything, but, you know, it's obviously, uh, you know, bigger opportunities and, and, and better, better opportunities uh, can come with a victory. I think we both know that. So, uh you know, I take one fight at a time, and I prepare as best as I could, and I never under underestimate any opponent. Now, a lot of people was calling for um, you to face Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, as he was looking for an opponent, you know, um, and your name came up a lot, you know. Uh, have, was you offered that, you know? Uh, have you heard anything? Any no, I wasn't offered that. I didn't even hear that, but, you know, Ter Terrence Crawford is a, is a bad fighter, and I, I, would, I would love to fight any of the top guys. Uh, everyone knows that I don't shy away from, from any fight, and uh, you know, any fight with the world champion or a top contender you know, would, would be an exciting fight. What could we expect from this fight Saturday night? Man, I'm excited. Fireworks. I love being in all-action fights, and this is one of them. Uh, against a warrior uh, like, like John Molina himself, so... I'm excited. I can't wait. Any predictions? I prepare to win. I'm, I'm ready to win, and I'm, I'm going to win. So, uh, victory. Now, I got to ask you, Sean Porter, Errol Spence. How you see that fight playing out? Uh, I give an edge to Errol Spence, but you can't count, you know, Sean Porter out, man. He comes to fight. I think he's uh, he's at, at, at a good moment in his career to to really uh, shock the world and, and make something of of, uh, of this opportunity. So so I'm, I'm excited for that fight as well. Now, in, in 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 your opinion, who is the best welterweight in the world? This is the hottest division in all the sport in the whole in the sport of boxing, in my opinion. Who's the best welterweight in the world? I think uh, I think Errol Spence has to be has to be the top the top of the list in the welterweight division right now. So uh, he's proven himself time and time again, and uh, you 
know, uh, we'll, we'll see after Saturday night, but uh, I, I feel like Errol Spence is up top. Now, do you think you could get your name thrown in the hat? Manny Pacquiao looking for an opponent? Yeah, my name should always be in the top of, of the list, man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always ready. Uh, you already know that you're going to get a fight no matter what. You know, uh, you know uh, the thing with some of these fighters is that they, they want big fights, but they don't want to perform big. And mm -hmm. I perform big every time, whether it be a, a main event fight or a pay-per-view opener like, like this weekend. So it doesn't matter. You're going to get your money's worth when you see me fight. Now, tomorrow's the weigh-in. What's the hardest part? You just had your press conference. What's the hardest part about getting to the weigh-in as far as eating and your diet goes up until the weigh-in? Well, the hardest part is just waiting. Mm -hmm. Just waiting. Uh, you've got a little less than 24 hours to, to the weigh-in. It's the wait, man. All the hard work is done. And every, everything's been put in. Um, you know, they're just counting down the weigh-in and, and fight night. You know, this anxiety kicks in. You want to... You wanna, um, Get this going because uh, what we've been preparing for for the last two months is close, but it's not coming fast enough. So, uh, you know, uh, anxiety. That's what it is. That's what it is. Let the fans know where they can find you. Oh, you can follow my social media, Jose Lopez on Instagram, Josecito Lopez on all other social media. And uh, stay tuned Saturday night. Appreciate you, champ.